Hi everybody! I am Net Nursing Puff and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I will be demonstrating how to give a subcutaneous injection. So let's talk about the basics, then we'll actually do it. So the common sites of administration for this type of injection are the back of the arm, not the deltoid, but the back of the arm, the inner thigh, and then the abdomen, but if you're going to give it on the abdomen, you want to make sure you're about two inches away from the belly button. And if this is something like insulin, where the patient is going to be taught to do it themselves, the easiest places for them to do it are their stomach and their inner thigh. The amount we give is roughly 0.5 to 2 mLs. The gauge of needle we'll use is anywhere between 25 to 27. The length, these are really little teeny tiny ones. So it's 3 eighths or 5 eighths inches. And then we're gonna hold it at a 45 to 90 degree angle when we put it in. So something special, one of the most common medications that's given subcutaneously is insulin. And a couple of special things about insulin. Insulin is given in units, not mLs, okay? So that's gonna be very dependent on the patient. And then the needle gauge we use is also a little bit smaller, 28 to 31 gauge. So that's just a little special thing about insulin when we give subcutaneous meds. So now let's go ahead and do it, right? We're going to do our three checks of the MAR, we're going to do our six rights, we're going to inform the patient what they're getting, hand washing, provide privacy, identify the patient with name and date of birth, and now we're ready to go give it. Now we're ready to prepare our subcutaneous injection. And for this example, I just picked some insulin because that's actually a very common subcutaneous um, injection that you will give. So we're just gonna use insulin for this, but you could use other things. You could use heparin and things like that. Because we're using insulin, I have what's called an insulin syringe. So this looks a little bit different than your other syringes. This is in units, okay? So if you can see there, it says 100 units. And we're just going to pretend we're going to give 10. We're going to give 10 units of insulin. If you want to see a video about mixing insulin, I do already have a video like that made, and I will put it in the description box below. So we're going to pop off our cap, alcohol it off, and then we're going to draw back 10 of air. And then we'll inject it. And you gotta be really careful with these insulin needles because they're so fragile. So we've injected it, now we're gonna invert it and pull back. So we put 10 in, we need to take 10 out. So there we go, we have 10 out. Now we're ready to go give it to the patient. And then you wanna find like the fatty part at the back. We're gonna pinch it when we give this injection. First we're gonna wipe it off with our alcohol wipe. Then again, bevel up. And then we're gonna go at a 45 to 90 degree angle and inject. Pinch the skin, bevel up, 45 to 90 degree angle, inject, let go. And then discard your sharps in the sharps container. One last thing I wanted to point out about subcutaneous injections. If this is something like an insulin where they're gonna be getting it multiple times a day, you wanna make sure to rotate sites. So don't give it in the same place every single time, okay? That's just gonna cause skin breakdown and the med is not going to work as effectively for your patient. So make sure you rotate sites with a subcutaneous injection. And that was my video. I hope you found this helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. And if not, I'll see you on the next one.